Hallelujah. When you get in his presence, you will change. Tell your neighbor, when you get in his presence, you will change. Your philosophy will change. Your way will change. Your purpose will change. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. When Holy Spirit speaks to you, changes are beginning. The Bible says, have faith in God. It does not ask you to look within and see how much faith. But to look to God and take the faith you need from Him. Let someone say, have faith in God. Open with me the book of Matthew 7. Let's look at verse 7 there. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Verse 8. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds and to him who knocks it will be opened wow this is christ's encouragement to pray and his assurance that your prayer will be answered so when people do not pray it is because they have no hope of an answer I will not pray. Pray. <laughs> Have faith in God. Have faith in God. All these are possible. Unanswered prayer stand between you and your face because it is stated there all things are possible you just have faith in God people do not pray because they are frustrated in their faith. Their hope has been shattered too often. They continue only in the formalities of their religion. The reality has disappeared. Communion with Christ Jesus springs from union with Christ Jesus. Tell your neighbor. Yes. Sometimes people base their spiritual experiences on feelings and emotions your phone call hello hello what's happened yes uh, it's in coma <sighs> immediately the next prayer now god heal him heal him heal him if the man of god say okay let us pray for mercy and favor which mercy and favor the person in coma please god revive him revive him revive him revive him revive him revive him let us pray for the nation which kind of nation the person in the coma revive him revive him revive him let us pray for the financial breakthrough which financial breakthrough the person in coma revive him revive him 
when the goings are good our prayer will be of thanksgiving whereas when the goings are tough our prayer will be petitioner rather than thanksgiving tell your neighbor ask you shall receive this is not when you ask out of feeling what is feeling feelings are influenced by what we see what we read what we hear what our situation looks like when you are sick when it is time to pray you pray for healing when you are poor when it is time to pray you pray for blessing when you are blessed when it is time to pray you give thanks to god these are feelings god is good all the time all the time You said, ask and you will receive whatever you need. You said, pray and I'll hear from heaven and I'll heal your land. You said, your glory will fill the earth like water the sea you said lift up your eyes their harvest is here their kingdom is near you said When the happenings around dictate the direction of our prayer, we are acting out of feeling. In John 11, remember at the graveside of Lazarus, ordinarily the situation did not call for thanksgiving. But Jesus, being a man of faith, was not influenced by the happenings around. What are the happenings around? People were crying there. People were shouting. People were lamenting. <laughs> Because the dead was on the floor. But Jesus, being a man of faith, he was not influenced by the happening around. What was seen around did not call for thanksgiving, call for crying, call for lamenting. 
call for complaining. Call for child. What was seen around? Will you also take your time to go to the book of Acts of Apostles 16? You take your reading from verse 23. Take from verse 23. And when they have laid many stripes on them, they threw them into prison, commanding the prisoner, the jailer, to deal with them. These are the sent over what? Consider the case of Paul and Salah in the prison. The Bible says, the more they were flogged, the stronger their desire was to praise God. I come to say how much I love you. I've come to say how much I adore you. Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many problems by your spirit and your grace. I'm confident you solve them. always rewards the obedient. He does not necessarily reward good people, smart people, or wealthy people. He rewards the obedient. Have faith in God. Jesus said not faith in faith faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ when people approach me in great emotional havoc panic my God help me I'm sick I'm sick my God help me I know that the word of God does not dominate in his mind when the word of God does not dominate in our mouth it does not dominate in our mind If the word of God dominates in your mind, it will influence your conduct and your behavior. Thus, the word of God do not dominate their mind. They always discuss their battle. I'm sick. I'm poor. I'm this. I'm that. I'm that, I'm that. Instead of discussing the one who is fighting for them, those who do not have the word of God, they discuss 
their warfare. Instead of the promise of victory. What is the promise of victory? Let the poor say, I am blessed. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the yoke say, I am delivered. Their focus, their enemy, instead of the comforter. Let someone say, have faith in God. Have faith in God. When you have faith in God, you want to know what God says about all situations. If you are sick, instead of ask God, heal me. You want to know the opinion of God concerning that headache. First, if you are blessed, you want to know the opinion of God concerning the money, the, the wealth. If you are troubled, instead of saying, God, I'm troubled, help me. You want to know God's opinion about that trouble because in every situation, God has something to say. That headache may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the journey. That poverty may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead. God can use anything, anything. If you know God's opinion about this headache, you may not even need healing at the time you are asking for. Because you know it's for purpose. It's not meant to kill you. It's not meant to destroy you for the glory of God. To know all the gods, but you alone. Lord, I will worship you. Nothing ends of me, but you. We must pray in faith. If you say you have faith in God, you must eat in faith. If you say you have faith in God, you must sleep in faith. If you say you have faith in God, you must look in faith. And when you pray in faith, even when the circumstance seems unfavorable, you pray more. Where there is faith, there is a strong desire to pray more. Have faith in God. When you have faith in God, 
the happening around you will not dictate the direction of your prayer. More love, more power, more of you in my life, Jesus, more. 